Hey guys, my name is Ajay Rogobunt. I'm from Portland, Oregon, and I'm a first year nursing student. I'm gonna be your virtual guide for Gonzaga University. Let's go Zags! So one interesting thing about Gonzaga is that it is located in Spokane, Washington, which many people probably don't even don't know about if you're not from Washington. I'm from Portland, Oregon, and I didn't even know about what Spokane, Washington. It's like right above, above me, about like a six hour drive. But there's a lot of things to do here. It is listed as like the top 10 small cities for uh, foodies. So there's a lot of food, great food options. And I've tried like about like 10 restaurants here and they all have been fantastic. I can assure you that. But a really great thing that you can do is go to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, which is only about a half an hour drive here from Spokane, Washington, which is where Gonzaga is located. And there's, it's uh, a giant lake town where there's a lot of things to do. Like you can go cliff jumping or some hiking. And there are a lot of other options here at Gonzaga that you can do that with, not just Coeur d'Alene. But there's so much outdoors activities here to do that I definitely. So in terms of the quads here at Gonzaga, there isn't really a definite quad per se, like most uh, universities because Gonzaga is so small. What I would call the quad is really the Hemmingson slash uh, the library area or somewhere around Crosby because there isn't really like a spot where there are places on like each side of a, of like a field per se where everyone hangs out. Most people hang out in either their dorms or in Hem the Hemmingson Center or sometimes the library. The Hemmingson Center holds most of the activities that we do on spike nights, which are these little activities that uh, run during the re weekends. And the Hemmingson Center also has the COG, which is our main cafeteria and is close to everything really. So I would call that the quad. But another thing that you could describe as the quad is these little uh, four by four uh, squares of, of lawn that have Herrick and Packer, which are our math and uh, engineering buildings, as well as Crosby, which used to be what was similar to the Hemmingson Center where everyone hung out. And then there is also the library, uh, which is next to Hemmingson, and all those, there are two little, two little quads per se that a lot of people go to. So those are the closest things that we have to a quad here at Gonzaga. So Gonzaga, although it's in a small, it's a pretty small campus with about 5,000 students, there are some pretty beautiful and amazing things to see here uh, on campus if you get a chance to visit. So first on our list would probably be the Junt Art Museum, which is also where a lot of art students as well as where you could also take art classes. And it's a beautiful building, it's kind of mysterious, and it has this great architecture and design, it's really old-timey. And they also have a museum inside. Sadly, I did not get a film inside of it because the museum was closed at the hours that I went. However, it's a, you can go inside still if you're a student and you can just check out some art that are on the walls. And it's also next to Lake Arthur, which is the second place that you should visit on our list at Gonzaga. Lake Arthur is the lake right, basically in Gonzaga's campus. And it's a beautiful lake that uh, it doesn't freeze in the winter, sadly, so you can't ice skate on it, but it's a great place to uh, sit next to and there are animals there and the leaves during the fall are just beautiful and when it snows, it gets it's beautiful as well. So it's a great place to just look at the water, maybe reflect some, reflect a little. And the third place I would say is the St. Al's Church, which is a beautiful church on campus. Uh, as uh, Gonzaga is a, a Jesuit Catholic University, uh, the St. Al's is a beautiful place to just go inside and you could just admire the architecture and just really get a feel for where you are in Spokane. So those are my top uh, three places to visit if you get the chance to come to Gonzaga. Hope to see you here. So the Foley Library here at Gonzaga is a pretty good library. It's usually where most students on campus do their studying. Uh, I find that Yes, it's a good option to do, or it's an option to study here in your dorm because the desks are like a pretty good size. However, the studies have shown, there are studies that have shown that if you separate your workspace from your sleeping space, then, uh, or your studying space, I mean, then um, you become more productive because the space or the library, which is where I studied, 
because it's a de dedicated space to do all your studying and your work, then you like, when you get there, then your mindset is to work. Whereas if you do it here, then it's harder to sleep because um, you confuse your idea of your dorm is not just a sleeping space, but rather it's also a workspace and all the other things as well. But the Foley Library has help desks, uh, which the people, the students, and sometimes administrators there uh, are really helpful and they can help you do research, find books, uh, help you out with essays, uh, correct your essays sometimes even. And the Foley Library online is a great resource where they can do all the same things online, 24 hour, which is connected to the Jesuit uh, education system here on the West Coast. Oh, no, not the West Coast, the entire nation really. And there is the first floor, which is probably the loudest. The second floor, which is like a medium uh, sound level. So, game day at Gonzaga. It's one of the most exciting seasons here. Gonzaga basketball season, which is actually right now. And luckily I filmed some amazing clips to like show you the real experience about the basketball season here at Gonzaga. So, one thing that a lot of students do is that we wait in line in the freezing cold of Spokane and like 20 to 35 degree uh, weather in Fahrenheit. So we like stay out in the fr freezing cold to be like the first ones in line for tickets. So we ensure that we get a spot in the student section because there are only a limited amount of uh, uh, tickets sold. Here we're waiting in line for ticket distribution. They give 1,200 of us tickets and we camp out in the cold for hours on end and act like homeless people. Right, Blake? Yeah. Right, Lawrence? Uh, super fun. <laughs> so I make sure to bring a blanket and a lot of like warm clothes. And it's, it's really, it, although it sounds like torture, it's really fun because you're with your friends and you really just get that experience of bonding. And you get even more excited for the game day. And so game day is amazing. It's usually held on the same day that you wait in line and you get super hyped. And we do our, at the beginning, uh, the first five minutes before the actual game, the entire student section like does this crazy dance and we like all know what to do and it looks freaking amazing on camera, but it's really fun and you get to support your team and really get that team spirit and it's, it's really amazing. Let's go Zags. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's been a real blast being a virtual tour guide here at Gonzaga University. I hope to see you guys next year, whether it be in the fall or the spring, or you're, tra you're a transfer student from some other school. I really hope that you're here at Gonzaga University in Spokane. It's really fun, although it may be a little cold. It's, it's amazing getting to know the people around you, the environment, the spirit, how nice people are here. It's fantastic, and I'm sure that you guys are gonna love it if you pick this place. Uh, this has been Ajay, and I hope that to see you next year. Go Zags!